This is Sophie Heller, and this is an ACT English organization question. The question is asking us if we were to take this sentence two, where would we best put it in the paragraph to make sense? So the sentence two tells us they unintentionally pass along the negative mindset. So we have this sentence about they, and we don't know who they is, passing along a negative mindset. So whenever you see a pronoun, you want to make sure that it's antecedent, so the thing it's referring to that um, comes before it. So we want to make sure that when we have this short sentence too, that it's referring back to something that was previously said in the paragraph. So let's look, if we, if we uh, keep it where it is now, which is our, our first answer choice, we don't have anything that they can connect to. So choi uh, sentence one tells us the effect of this math myth is reasonably evident. They pass along a negative mindset. So while this um, idea of a negative mindset being passed along goes along with this math myth, there's no they here. So this is singular. Math myth, uh, the effect, which is our subject, is also singular. Uh, they is a plural pronoun. So since we have nothing, this they is completely unconnected, completely out of nowhere, we won't want to put the sentence to here. It's not going to be a good idea. Similarly, if we were to look at choice two and put it here, so if we had sentence two here, we'd start our paragraph with they unintentionally pass along the negative mindset, and then we'd go on to talk about the math myth. But again, since there's no, they is just a drift here. It's not referring to anything. So that's not a great place to put it either. What about after sentence three? So right here. Sentence three is telling us that only certain people have this um, math intelligence and the rest of us are on borrowed time until we can make an error. Again, there's no they here. So this they, it could refer to the rest of us, so that's plural, but the rest of us aren't the ones who are passing along this negative mindset. The rest of us are the people who are having this negative mindset directed at them. They don't have this math intelligence. So it doesn't make sense. We don't have a logical antecedent for they, so that's not going to be a good place for it. At the end of paragraph two, it's the only choice that makes sense because sentence four is talking about how parents, so it's a plural subject, uh, especially the parents of girls, assume that their offspring will experience difficulty in learning math as they did themselves. And so we see we're already using they at the end of the sentence to refer back to parents. It would make sense to say um, the sentence about parents and then they pass along the negative mindset. So this is the only place that makes sense because this is um, the only place where we see an antecedent for they. So choice four is our answer.